Hi there, welcome to ETO Hahu Tutorial. I'm Gitacho and today I'm here to discuss about even and odd functions. A function can be either an even function or an odd function. And to classify the function is either even or odd. What are the criteria that we are going to see? A function f of x is here to be even if and only if f of minus x is equal to f of x for all x. And the integral of this even function f of x dx from minus pi to pi is equal to twice of the integral from 0 to pi of f of x dx because this f of x is periodic with p f to pi and it is an even function. Since the graph of an even function are symmetrical about the y-axis, then the integral of f of x dx from minus pi to pi is equal to twice of the integral from 0 to pi of f of x dx since it is symmetrical about the y-axis. A function is said to be an odd function if and only if f of minus x is equal to minus of f of x for all x. Also the integral of an odd function f of x dx from minus pi to pi is equal to 0 because the graph of an odd functions are symmetrical about the origin. Having seen this, let's see examples. Identify the following functions whether they are even or odd. A f of x is equal to 3x plus 1. To see whether this function is an even function or odd, let's check. f of minus x is equal to 3 times minus x plus 1. This is equal to minus 3x plus 1. f of minus x is equal to minus of 3x plus 1. Therefore, f of minus x is not equal to f of x and f of minus x is not equal to minus of f of x because minus of f of x means minus 3x minus 1. That's f of minus x is equal to minus 3x plus 1. Therefore, f of x is neither even nor odd. Second, g of x is equal to x squared plus 5. g of x is equal to x squared plus 5. g of minus x is equal to minus x the whole square plus 5. This is equal to minus square is positive x square plus 5. And this is equal to g of x. g of minus x is equal to g of x. And this implies that g of x is an even function. Because f of minus x is equal to f of x, if this condition is satisfied, then the function is here to be an even function. Next, c f of x is equal to absolute value of x. f of minus x is equal to absolute value of minus x. This is equal to the absolute value of negative number is positive. That is absolute value of x. And this is equal to f of x. Therefore, f of x is even function because f of minus x is equal to f of x. d g of x is equal to sine of nx. g of minus x is equal to sine of minus nx. This is equal to minus sine of nx. Since sine nx is g of x minus g of x. Therefore, g of minus x is equal to minus of g of x means g of x is odd function. Finally, f of x is equal to cosine of nx. f of minus x is equal to cosine of minus nx. This is equal to cosine of nx because cosine function is an even function. Therefore, this is equal to f of x is even function and this is all about even and odd functions